Manuel, thank you for coming to Israel. Your support, that of your delegation, is highly appreciated. On October 7th, Hamas waged war at Israel. It was uh, the worst terrorist attack the world has known since 9-11. But for Israel, proportionately, it was like 2011s. כן, ראש הממשלה מדבר על המתקפות הרצחניות שהחלו בשבעה באוקטובר. I described to you some of the horrors. It's impossible to describe all of them. Like I'm Frank, Jewish children, addicts, from these monsters, and they were found and butchered. As in Babi Yar, Jews were machine gunned in killing pits. Hamas butchered, Hamas beheaded, Hamas burned babies alive. שהרגו ושרפו תינוקות חיים. חמאס קידנפט. אונס, חטיפה. חוסטג'ס, אובר 200, בייביס, ילדים, הולוקוסט סרוויילס. חטיפה של למעלה מ-200 בני אדם, בהם נשים, ילדים וזקנים. אנחנו נמצאים במלחמה בין ברבריזם וציוויליזציה. צ'אנשר שולץ, שהוא ביזר את ישראל, אמר שחמאס הם הנאו נאצים. חמאס הם הנאצים החדשים. When the Allies fully supported the French anti-Nazi resistance, today the international community is uniting in support of Israel. For Hamas barbarism, not only threatens the Jews, it threatens the Middle East, it threatens the region, it threatens Europe, it threatens the world. Hamas is the test case. of civilization against barbarism. Hamas is the great war of the world against the French people. The French people have known the horror of terrorism. You experienced it in Nice, in Lyon, in Paris. You refuse to tolerate this threat. And the people of Israel refuse to have ISIS in a terror enclave on its border. Israel, the Israel, are not willing to accept the Daesh on the border. This is not an enclave of ISIS thousands of kilometers away from Europe. It's ISIS in the suburbs of Paris. It's ISIS you can drive 20 minutes and you reach the suburbs of Paris and you have ISIS there. We cannot live like that. Nobody can live like that. So we are doing everything we need to do to destroy Hamas in Gaza. We will dismantle its terror machine. We will dismantle its political structure. We will make every effort to release our hostages. And we will make every effort to keep Palestinian civilians out of harm's way. It's important to understand that Hamas is committing a double war crime. It's not only murdering our civilians, targeting our civilians, doing unspeakable war crimes. They're also hiding behind civilians. They're all civilians. We asked the people of Gaza to leave, to go to a safe zone in the south, where we're able to make a military aid to reach them. Hamas is putting checkpoints with guns, with people with guns to prevent Palestinians from leaving the war zone. Hamas is responsible for civilian casualties, but we will do every effort to avoid them and to fight this war as speedily and as... When this is over, the people of Israel will rebuild their communities, and the people of Gaza will no longer live under Hamas terror. But first, there is one condition. One condition for anything that could happen, and the good things that could happen once this war is over. And that condition is that Hamas must be destroyed. And I thank you, Emmanuel, for coming here to Israel, for standing with Israel, for standing with us. תודה לך, הנשיא, על עמידתה של צרפת איתנו. אנחנו סומכים על התמיכה שלכם בדרך לעתיד המשותף שלנו. תודה. אלו דבריו של ראש הממשלה נתניהו בהצהרה, ועכשיו...